everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to be making a spider coaster. And it's going to have a little bit of a 3D effect to it, so hopefully it'll turn out really cool. For this coaster we're doing a fun spider. And all I'm going to do is use some black glitter for the body and of course some resin, of which I have roughly probably 2 ounces. So we want them to have enough thickness to them. I'm going to mix that glitter right in there. It's, it's the thick, chunky black glitter. And I'm going to throw just a little bit of some silver in there just for a little interest. And this is the fine silver. And it's just to break it up just a little bit. Now I'm going to pour it right in here, right into the mold. And if you're looking for the mold, I'll have um, that link down in the description below if you're looking for it. All right, we've gotten that in there. And now I'm just going to take my lighter pop bubbles because we've mixed some pretty good bubbles in there and we're going to let this sit a minimum of 12 hours and then we can take it out and finish it. The body of our spider is finished and this is going to be a very whimsical looking spider. So here he is and I'm just going to put that to the side because he's going to need some legs. We're actually going to elevate him off of the table. This will be a functional coaster but you know you may not want things raised up off your table. We're purely going for fun here. I grabbed a couple of wire hangers and I'm just going to cut eight legs. I want them basically to be equal in length or as close to it as I can get them. And then we want to bend them. Really, really simple. I have my Dremel tool and I've made some markings on the side of the coaster so I can decide where I want those eight holes to be. Now you can see where I drilled into this one. If you had, you can always put a, another layer on there, but I kind of actually like the way that looks. I wasn't expecting that. But now I can, I can add the legs, but first, of course, I need to paint them. So I'll take them outside to the garage and I will paint them black. A little spray paint will do it. And then I'll come back and put this together. When the paint on the legs have dried, you can add them in two your spider. And you can glue them in or if it's tight enough you can just push them right in and it'll be fine. Now when you get your legs on there you can adjust them as you want. Um, you can even have one like sticking up just for fun. Or you can get them right where you want them, glue them in place and you don't have to worry about them moving. All you have to do is level out the coaster and then you're good to go. And it will hold a cup. Now I feel like you need some eyes so we're going to glue some on. I have some oval eyes that I think will fit on there pretty well. I'm using hot glue. You could use different glue for sure. Now you have your eyes on there and you have your spider coaster and he looks kind of cute. Put him down, put a drink on him, and you're good to go. So be sure to let me know what you think of the spider coaster in the comments below. It's kind of fun and different and he's perfect to be standing around for Halloween. I hope you like the spider coaster. Um, I did not glue the legs in. Um, you can position them. They do support it this way, but if you want a little extra support and want to make sure he doesn't fall over, you might want to add a little bit of glue in there when you put the legs in. But he's, I mean, he's kind of flat, but he's kind of fun. So be sure to let me know what you think of him down in the comments below, and I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.